Hi everybody, John here from All Miniatures Great and Small and today in the studio I have Jake and I have Kaylee and today we're going to be playing Gaslands. It's a post-apocalyptic racing game. We've all brought a car and we're going to put ourselves to the test and see who can complete our grueling race circuit. So uh, Gaslands is a really awesome game if you've seen any of our content before. Uh, this is our first game we're going to film. And uh, so we're going to play kind of a straightforward, just one car each. If the car wipes out, we can respawn and, um, and see how it goes. So um, everyone has kind of built or painted their own cars. So we're going to show the cars and let everybody talk to, uh, talk to you guys about what they have and what they're bringing. But equipment-wise, we're all the same. So we're all going to have heavy machine guns in the fixed forward. We're all going to have Molotov cocktails, right? Yeah. Yeah. And then uh, I think that's it. All right. So, Jake, what is your prediction? Uh, I don't know. <laughs> uh, what is your prediction, Gailey? Who's going to win? No one will. No one will win? You predict no one will win. That's a bold statement. All right. We're going to go ahead and look at the cars and then uh, start the race. Okay, here is my car. This is uh, driven by Roger Stevenson. And uh, like we said earlier, it's got a heavy machine gun in the front, Molotov cocktails for the driver. So he's going to be going up against our other two competitors today. All right, Kaylee, tell us about your car. Okay. <clears throat> so my car is driven by an evil Santa Claus. <laughs> And um, that's why I painted it red and green. Gotcha. So you so. actually painted your car. You repainted a Hot Wheels car. Yeah. And we put a machine gun on top of it for you. Mm -hmm. All right. All right. And uh, so you also have a heavy machine gun and Molotov cocktail, so you have to remember that. Yeah, and the people throwing the Molotov cocktails are little tiny evil elves. Perfect. <laughs> that's a way to stay in theme. So we got Santa Claus spelled... With an A-W. So Santa Claus and then evil <laughs> L's. All right, next up we have. All right, and here we have my DeLorean, driven by Martin Q. Emmett III. <laughs> All right, so here is our board for today. And there's Jake. So we've got, we're doing a death race. We're starting here at the start line. We've got to go through that gate, through that gate, through that gate and back across the finish line to win the game or we just destroy both of our opponents <laughs> so what we're going to do first though is we're going to roll to see who has pole position so everyone's going to roll a d6 so let's see jake what do you get a five i get a two kaylee gets a two so jake has pole position All right, so to explain what we do here, when uh, since Jake has pole position, he's going to activate his car first. The first thing he does is he chooses a maneuver from the available maneuver templates. Everyone starts in gear one, so he can choose a template that has a one on it. And um, so he places that, and now he's going to do a uh, check. Are you actually going to do a check? Uh, yes. Okay. So go ahead and roll a regular car is three dice, plus you get one um, of the gear results for free, or shift results for free. All right, so you got a slide and three shifts to spend. All right, so I'm going to cancel out the slide with the shift. Okay. Um, I'm going to use a shift to go up a gear. Okay. And then I will use my last shift to get rid of the hazard I would get from going up a gear. Gotcha. So performing actions or having unfortunate things happen when you roll the dice, like a slide or a spin, um, result in hazards building up on your car, and you can spend your shifts to get rid of it. So basically, Jake has gone to gear two, which will let him uh, continue to move this turn, and he has no hazards or no stress. And of course, he cuts himself right in front of both of our cars. 
Okay, so Jake is trying to really screw us over by blocking us here at the very beginning of the game. So what I'm going to do is something completely unexpected. I am going to choose this short <laughs> and I'm going to go in reverse. Haha. Uh -huh. What? You can't start a race by going in reverse. <laughs> That's what you least expected. So I'm going to go ahead and take the dice. I get a free shift result, and I get a shift, a slide, and a spin, which I think will be okay. What I'm going to do is shift up to gear two, cancel that, oh no, let's cancel the slide, and then I'm going to keep the spin. So I'm going to get two hazards, but I basically move my car here and I can spin it a little bit. So I'm going to spin it so when I go forward I can clear that gate. So I get two hazards and uh, if you're curious about hazards, if you get up to six hazards then you wipe out. So that's very bad when you get to six hazards. <laughs> yeah, Alright, so that's my activation in gear phase one. So Kaylee, you're going to go into gear phase one. Alright, Kaylee has chosen the gentle so Kaylee's going to get a free shift, and then you're going to, no, don't move your car yet. you got to roll your dice. So let's see what you get. Oh, you got <laughs> a slide, a hazard, uh, and a shift. I'm going to use one to take out that slide, because okay. I don't want to slide and crush it. You don't want to slide? Oh, no, that would crush it. Um, I'll use this to go up gear. Okay, going to gear two. I'll just keep the hazard. So you're going to get two hazards as well. Now you can move your car. And just so you know, um, we are not shooting at each other or throwing, throwing Molotov cocktails until you drive through the first gate. Then our weapons become active. Oh. So this concludes gear phase one of turn one. So now we're going into gear phase two. Every car that's in uh, gear phase a gear equal to the gear phase, they can move, or if they're higher as well. So everyone's going to be able to move, and it's going to go back to Jake for gear phase two. All right, Jake has chosen the gentle maneuver. He gets a free shift. Here we go. Oh, let's see what he gets. Oh, all yeah. shifts. All shifts. So, you're in gear two right now, so you definitely want to go up a gear. Yeah, so I'm going up one, and then I'm taking away that hazard. So, so that takes two care of two. Yeah. Um, I'm kind of tempted to re-roll um, to try to get a spin, but... A spin is only one out of six on a die. I know. We will take a hazard and fish for a spin with one die. Okay. No. no. Okay. So. So we'll cancel that one out and then we'll take a hazard from what we just did. Going up to gear phase three? No, for re-rolling. Oh, for re-rolling. Yeah. Alright, so now you have one hazard and you are at gear three and your car goes here. <laughs> and then it's on to Steve Oh no, Raj Stevenson. There we go. I remember what Roger it was. Roger Stevenson. All right, I'm choosing a medium. Since it's gear phase two, I've got to go in, in uh, forward. I can't keep going in reverse. Um, so we get a free shift. And we get two shifts and a slide. So we're going to go ahead and go up to gear phase three. Choose the slide. And we do not want to slide. So we'll use that to cancel the slide. So I still have two hazards. I didn't get enough to remove, but it gets me back to the gate. So I'm back in the game. So it's going to be on to Kaylee's activation. All right, so Kaylee chose the gentle maneuver and it hits the terrain. So what's going to happen is Kaylee can still roll her dice. So she can still get a shift, a free shift and roll three dice. Because you still probably want to go up to gear three. <coughs> nice. 
Okay, so I'll go up to gear three. Okay. And then what are you going to do with the other ones? What you want to do is get rid of the hazard for going up your oh, gear, yeah. and then you have two hazards on your car right now. So get rid of them with that. So I'll get rid of all my hazards, and I went up one. All right, so you're at gear three, and your car sadly crashes <laughs> right here. All right, so we're going to take a test. You are going gear speed three. So we're going to roll three dice for you. Four or five results in one damage, and a six results in two damage. So you take two damage from crashing into that wall. Okay, so in addition to the two damage she took for colliding with that debris, she's also got two hazards. But since you burned all your hazards before, Kaylee, right, you just have how many now? Two. Two, excellent. All right, so now everyone is gone in gear phase two, so we're going to gear phase Wait. three. Water and his soda. <laughs> all right, one of the uh, kind of cool rules of this game is when you choose a template and touch it, you're committed to that template. So Jake is touching that one. <laughs> now, if he would have happened to have touched a, a uh, template that he could not legally play, like it was a gear that he couldn't use, um, he would not be able to do that, and his opponent would choose what template he would use. So that swerve looks like it'll do it for you. Yeah, that is the best that move has ever worked out. <laughs> so is that uh, does that get you a hazard or? It doesn't a give shift? you any anything. It's All just right. nothing. Right so now. you got three dice. Um. Yeah. Shift. Shift. Slide. So we definitely want to get rid of that slide. Yeah, you definitely want to get rid of the slide. <laughs> and then, um, did you go up a gear, Kaylee? Yeah. yeah. She did. Okay. Kaylee would get past me. I kind of don't want to go to gear four. Um, the reason I, typically in Gaslands, it's really hard going from three to four because if you look at um, the maneuver templates, once you hit four, you stop being able to really turn very well at all. Um, yep. On the plus side though, is I don't really have to turn too much to get through this. So give me a minute to think about it. And okay. your decision is? So still canceling that. Uh, with my shift, I'm gonna go up and take a hazard. All right, so you're going to gear four. Correct. And you have two Hazards. Yes. Ooh, all right. The DeLorean moves forward. Well, two can play that game. I'm going to do the same thing. I'm going to swerve. So, we're going to go there. Jake, if you don't mind handing me some dice. I am at the gear three. Let's see some shifts. Oh, no, all spins and slides. <laughs> So what we're going to do is basically do a do-over. I'm going to get a hazard and let me re-roll the dice. So Kaylee will give me a hazard and uh, a little bit better. I guess we'll take this. So we'll take the shift to go up to gear four. And then, so that'll give me a hazard for going to gear four. And then these two spins are going to give me two more hazards. So uh, that puts me at five hazards but now Wait, I can spin what? Oh. a little bit okay. all right all right it's Kaylee's turn in gear phase three what are you doing Kaylee um, I'm gonna do a veer a veer all right and you can nothing. flip it over so basically you're gonna end up there let's give you three dice for your test Okay. And let's see, Jake, can you just check that veer and see if she gets anything for doing the veer? Is she going to speed three, right? She is going speed three right now. Uh, she gets nothing. Okay, so you got a, ooh, a shift, a slide, I'm and gonna, a hazard. I'm going to re-roll that. Okay, well, keep your shift. Uh, okay. shift. And so you're going to get a hazard to re-roll these two dice. A slide and a spin. Um. So what, we'll come back when Kaylee decides what she wants to do. She's got some hard choices here. Okay, so Kaylee has chosen, well, she didn't like her choices, but 
Uh, she basically could not go up a gear. She canceled the slide so she didn't crash into Jake and she used her spin. So she ended up getting um, one more hazard from the spin and she did not go up to gear phase four so this is her last move this turn. So we are now, that completes gear phase three, so gear phase four starting with Jake. Oh, Jake you went up to gear four right? Yep. Alright so Jake gets to go, gear phase four. Jake's choosing his template. Gentle. Oh, he's so gentle. And gentle gives you no freebies. Nothing. But you do get your like to roll. Watch this, old man. All right, you want some spins? I'm guessing here. Shift and a, two shifts and a hazard. Uh, mm. Really, that's not too bad. Um, all right, it could be worse. Okay. So cancel out that hazard. Okay. And then with the shift, I will. What's he gonna do? Anticipation. Mm. I will go down a gear mm. with this last one. Oh, okay. So you're shifting down to gear three. Yeah. So, so you'll take a hazard. Take a hazard. And you'll be at gear three. And I'm back down to three. All right. So it's on to my activation. All right, for my activation in gear four, I'm going to choose medium. Guess what, Kaylee? You're gonna run into me. I'm gonna run into you. All right, so I get a free shift for this, plus a slide, a hazard, and a shift. Uh, I don't want to do this long. <laughs> I think I'm going to... Let's see, I have five hazards right now. I don't want to wipe out. So I think I'm going to wipe out no matter what with this crash. All right, so let's do this. We're going to cancel those out. So those get me nothing. And basically, I crash into Kaylee right here. Now, Kaylee... I'm crashing into you and I'm declaring a smash attack. Do you want to smash back or do you want to evade? <laughs> evade. Huh? You want to evade? Yeah. Alright, so come over here to roll some dice. Alright, since this is a tailgate, it's not a very dramatic hit. Basically, since I'm attacking, I subtract Kaylee's speed from mine. I was going four, she was going three, so I'm only rolling one attack die. But I do do one damage. Now you're going speed three, Kaylee, so you get to roll three dice. You're looking for one six to cancel that out. And you don't. No. So you take one damage. Well, this side isn't and you don't get to hit back because you evade it instead of smashing. But now, here's the downside. We both get two hazards. Okay. That puts me at seven. How many hazards does that put you at, Kaylee? Five. All right, ladies and gentlemen, the Capmobile has wiped out with seven hazards. That means I need to roll a die. I need to roll my current gear or higher for a flip check. If I fail that, if I roll under a four, I am flipping. You ready for this? You ready? Yeah. You ready? Say it ain't so, Raj. Here we go. Say <laughs> oh. <laughs> okay, so I take two damage. I move forward a medium distance. Now I'm in base contact with Kaylee, so for the purposes of movement, you treat, uh, you ignore that. So it's like she's not there. So basically, I am ending up right about there, Jake. I think. Kind of worked out for you. Um, but, no, not yet, but I lose all my hazards, so I'm back down to all my hazards, but I go to gear one, sadly, and here's the best part, since Kaylee is on my left side, she gets to spin my car in any direction she wants. Now remember, I'm your father, and I drove you here. 
But yeah, go ahead and spin my car. So Kaylee, before you touch his car, just so you know, I don't know if you know the rules, <laughs> you can actually spin his car so it slams into that post and he takes more damage. That's true, but very you can, true. you can do whatever you want. Uh, or you could spin me to point at Jake so I can <laughs> take him out for you. That's kind of what I was thinking, but... Um, Actually, quite honestly, you spin the car however you want. We'll come back when she's decided how badly she wants to screw over her own dad. <laughs> Alright, so Kaylee has decided to point me directly towards herself. Alright, sounds good. No. So, we are on to, well, no one is in Gear Phase 5. We go to Gear Phase 5, but no one's in 5, so we skip it. No one's in 6, we skip it. So now we go to turn 2. Now Jake still has the pole position because no one has cleared the gate yet. So, but I think with Jake's next activation, he's going to. So we are on to turn two, gear phase one. All right, so Jake has chosen a turn. He's at gear, he's in gear three. Um, so you get nothing and he's rolling three dice. Let's see what we get. A spin and two shifts, that's not bad. That's yeah, pretty good. Um, a so spin, even though it's, you know, you get a hazard for it, it's oftentimes a very good thing. Yeah, so I'm actually going to hold on to the spin. Mm -hmm. um, and with the two shifts, I'm going to get rid of two hazards. Okay. So I basically get rid of two, and then I add one back. All right, so you're just getting rid of one yeah. when everything balances out. And then you place your car at the end of the maneuver template. With a nice spin. Now, with that uh, occurrence, Jake, two things have happened. Jake's weapons are now hot. They are active. So you can probably throw a Molotov cocktail at me, Jake. That's the idea. And then the next thing is the pole position token goes to the next person, which would be me. You're going to run into me, aren't you? We'll see, won't we? Well, and then, only after he's on fire. you know, you, you spin me. So you'll only have yourself to blame. All right, so Jake, you're gonna throw a Molotov cocktail at me. It's one die. Yes. Attack. Uh, three, four. I mean, f sorry, four, five. You're gonna hit. Six is gonna be a critical hit. Jake always seems to roll sixes when he throws Molotov <laughs> I cocktails. I rolled a lot of them. I don't know why. <laughs> let's see what we got. And you also set my car on fire. All right. Here we go. Well, let's see it. Ah, uh, all right, that's a hit. Him. Now I'm going gear one, unfortunately, so that means I only get one die to try to evade this shot. You need a six. I right? need a six. Let's see the six. No. Oh, so close. So I take a point of damage and and I am on, on fire. So I have lost three of my ten hull points. All right, so that little thing on top of my car means fire. All right, so now so I'm stupid. activating. So uh, I'm going to, well, first thing is I'm on fire, so I take a hull point of damage. And since I have zero um, uh, hazards, the fire goes out. So you either have to be, you have to get to zero hazards at the start of your activation to get rid of the fire. All right, next up I'm choosing, uh, I'm choosing hairpin. Jake, could you hook, you hook me up with the hairpin? Which, where are you going? I'm backwards. Backwards, which direction? That way or this way? I'm going backwards the most logical way. <laughs> so this way. Towards you. <laughs> Nice, all right, so, oh, hand me some uh, dice there. All right, let's see what we get. So we're gonna, ugh, we don't like this. So we're going to uh, get a hazard to reroll those two. Okay, so we're gonna go up to gear phase two and get a hazard, and uh, that's all we're gonna do. So that puts me at one hazard. And I end up, you can get rid of the terrible looking fire marker. Oh, sorry, this doesn't end my turn. You know why? Because you have the pull position. Or you already had it at the beginning of your turn. Because so. I'm going to shoot you. Yeah. <laughs> okay, so uh, this is how shooting works. Similar to the Molotov cocktail, a heavy machine gun uh, rolls three dice to attack. So I am shooting Jake with three dice. Four fives result in hits, sixes result in critical hits or two damage. 
So we got three <laughs> damage. Now, Jake, what's your speed? Uh, three. So you get three dice to try to cancel that, but you only uh, are successful on sixes. So uh, three sixes to cancel all this out. No. no. All right, so you take three damage from my machine guns. Now my turn is over, and Kaylee, it is now your turn. All right, Kaylee, you chose a gentle, a gentle turn. <laughs> so she placed her uh, template down. She's going to go ahead and roll. I think you get, do you get a, um, you get nothing for going gear three. All right, so let's see that roll. Two slides and a shift. So if you keep the slides, it looks like you might crash into me. I don't want to crash into you. Then you're going to have to take a hazard to re-roll those slides. But you're at five, five hazards. So what are you going to do? Because if you crash into someone, you're going to get hazards too. We'll let her agonize about this decision and come back. All right, so Kaylee's taking a hazard to re-roll the two slides. She's looking for some more shifts so she could cancel out. Okay. Okay. So I think you can survive without crashing. You cancel out the hazard with one of your shifts, and then you get rid of one of your hazards, so you're still going to be at five, but you won't crash unless your car touches it in your final position. So go ahead and move your car, Kaylee. Let's see where you end up. Nicely done. All right, so everyone's trying to influence Kaylee to see who she's going to throw her Molotov cocktail at. All right, Jake, don't say anything else. I won't say anything else. Kaylee, who do you want to throw a Molotov cocktail at? Three, two, one, go. Um, you, Daddy. <laughs> ah, okay. You get one you. die. Let's see what you get. Okay. <laughs> Dang it. But I will remember. I will remember that you threw a Molotov cocktail at me. All right. So, uh, now, Gear Phase 2... I have the pole position token, so actually I'm going to go first, but if you'll notice my position, I have been expertly blocked off, people have been throwing Molotov cocktails at me. <laughs> Alright, so I'm just going to go, um, gonna I'm going to go, no I can't, I can only do that in gear phase one. So I'm going to go medium uh, forward, which is just going to crash me into Kaylee, but um, okay. Want me to just slide you in? Well, let me roll my dice first, oh, so yeah. hand me some dice. I do get a free shift result. And I get nice. two shifts and a hazard. So I'm obviously going to cancel out the hazard. I'm going to go up to gear phase th or gear three and I'm going to cancel out that hazard that results from that. So I go up to gear phase three. I still have one hazard and I crash into Kaylee, which is going to get me. Two more hazards because I'm declaring a smash attack against the person who threw a Molotov cocktail. Kaylee, would you like to smash back or would you like to? Um, would you like to smash back or evade? You want to smash back? Excellent. All right. So, Kaylee, I'm going to smash you. I'm going speed three. So I throw three dice at you. Four fives is one damage. Six is two damage. Are you ready for this? So you take three damage. Okay. So mark off three hull points on your car. Now you are going speed three, three as well. So you're going to roll three dice and try to damage me. So you do two damage to me. Very nice. That six does two damage. So, but you also get two hazards. I'm sorry, dear. That doesn't really matter. Yeah, it does. You're going to win that. Yeah. So, it does matter. <laughs> so now she has seven hazards. It doesn't really matter, she says. <laughs> All right, so Kaylee, you wipe out at the end of my activation. So, roll one die. Oh, man. You're, going, uh, you're in gear three, so you need to roll three or higher to not flip. All right, you don't flip. So what happens is you go to gear one. Okay. You lose all of your hazards. And Jake gets to spin your car. Excellent. All right, so Jake, 
uh, somewhat nice and somewhat just from how the cars were and what he what options he had spun Kaylee towards the gate you're not uh, going soft on her because uh, she's a young and are you well there's really nothing I could do like when you turn the car it I have to hit your car no matter what really yeah so, yeah so the rotation seriously. really didn't give me anything all right so um, now that was gear phase two for me so now it's gear phase two for Kaylee but she got knocked down to gear one because of wiping out so it's your gear phase two, Jake. Okay. All right, Jake chose a medium. All right, he so I'm getting a, a free shift. All right. And then we're rolling the dice. All right, so we're going to cancel out that hazard. Yeah, still pretty good. Um, we are at, is this gear phase two? This is gear phase two. Okay. So I'm just going to cancel the hazards I have on my car with All the right. last two. And you're staying in, you're in gear phase three right now. So Correct. You don't yeah. need to worry about it. Yeah. All right, so you're at zero hazards and you're moving forward. Are you in medium range of anyone to chuck a Molotov cocktail? Um, I, I can't tell. <laughs> yes, I am. All right, so he's going to throw a Molotov cocktail at Santa Claus. All right, Kaylee, uh, you are at gear phase one. You're going to get one die to evade if Jake can even hit you in the first place. <laughs> No, no, he doesn't. Yay! All right, so that is the conclusion of Gear Phase 2. So on to Gear Phase 3. Okay, I'm playing that uh, medium now. I know Kaylee would be over a part of it, but since I'm touching her car, um, I treat her car like it's not there. So here we go. I get a free shift for doing a medium straight. And I get two more shifts and a hazard. So I'm going to cancel that hazard. I'm going to go up to gear phase four, or sorry, gear four. And I'm going to cancel that out as well. So I'm at gear four. Jake, if you would do the honors and move my car. Yeah. We'll move this up to gear four. And that's going to put me right next to Jake's car. Okay, so Jake says that's a hit. Um, it looks like we're on the exact corner of the car, correct? Yeah. So, one of the rules of the game is called the rule of carnage, which means you always take the most dangerous damaging rule when there's a choice. So instead of a rather soft uh, tail bump, we're doing a, a T-bone or cross section. So Jake, would you like to smash? I'm going to declare smash into you. Yeah, I'll smash. Alright, so we're both smashing. I'm at gear phase four, so I'm rolling four dice. Let's see what damage I can do to you. How much damage have you taken already? Three, right? Yes. So let's oh. do another three damage to you. I thought this would be safer than you <laughs> shooting me, but apparently not. And then you get to smash back. You're in gear three, so you get to roll three dice against me. Nice. You hey. do four. Nice. Four to me, which... Uh, all right, that may actually destroy me. Wait, how many were you? <laughs> all right. What? what? Oh, my goodness. <laughs> all right, we'll be right back. All right, so I explode. Now, normally I would move a, a short forward, but I can't move a short forward because of the way Jake's car is. Um, I explode on a 2+, plus though, because my car is still full of Molotov cocktails. So, because I have explosive ammunition in my car, basically my car becomes much more explodey. So, do I explode on a two or higher? I do. So, sorry guys, you both take... <laughs> so, just so you know, people at home, Kaylee and I are both at four wounds remaining. <laughs> Alright, so you have four, yeah, four hull each. Alright, so this is going to be against Jake, so if I get four of these, oh, gosh. <laughs> you are destroyed as well. And there's no evading these, because it's an explosion. Are you hoping I kill Jake? Yeah. Yeah. Oh, yeah. Here we go. Oh, no. We got three. So Jake takes three damage, and he's down to one hall point. But sorry, Kaylee. This is against you. Okay. And let's see. Oh, we got four. No. <laughs> Kaylee. Kaylee explodes. <laughs> So yeah, wait, if, I'm in medium if range. If Kaylee is within medium range of Jake, let's measure it out to make well, sure. I threw a cocktail at her in my turn. So. Oh, you did? Yeah, I remember that. So, all know. right, Kaylee, you explode. I am dead. Well, she explodes oh, yeah. on a two plus. Oh, yeah, you she explode on a two plus. So if she rolls a one, 
I will survive. No, actually, it's a, a, you a D6 plus your ammo. Oh, so you can just... And you explode on a 6 plus. So, yep. Unless this is you have... 40k. Ones don't yeah. always fail. All right. You explode. So, you're going to roll four dice. All you okay, need is roll one, roll damage. one damage. One damage, and Jake explodes. Ah! Jake takes two damage and explodes. So, in one gear phase, <laughs> all we're, all, we're all dead. That was um, pretty great. You know, I think we're going to end it here, maybe, <laughs> because yeah. that was epic. So, for the Gaslands viewers at home, uh, all three <laughs> cars have exploded. So, in the rules, does it say anything about... Whoever dies, like, you don't make it. Uh, well, we'll go look, but we might just have our own rules <laughs> to see who won. did that. Because you were the last one to die. That might be a good way to do it. Yeah, Maybe I was the one in Jake was the last one to die, and... My, my car exploded to kill him. Yep. So basically, no. I got one kill on Kaylee, Kaylee got one kill on Jake, but Jake Survived wins to the, end. the race. No, you don't survive, you're still dead. <laughs> well, yeah, but, but I, you're the last guy to die. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> and does your car explode? Uh, uh, Just kind oh, of in yeah, a sad yeah. explosion. Yes. Yeah, it does as well. So what ferocity did it explode in? Four, four, <laughs> five, five damage. damage. It so, would have killed if Kaylee survived. It would have killed her. <laughs> so there you go, guys. We'll set up for a quick post-game show, but uh, that was pretty epic. All That's right. Awesome. Everything would have died in this area, and then whoever was on the edges of that would go. Everyone in the back. How do you know when it's going That's already recorded. What? All right, guys, there you go. A uh, pretty <laughs> crazy game of Gaslands, but we find out that this is what Gaslands is about. It's crazy, unpredictable. Kaylee, what did you think about the game? <laughs> um, well, I think my prediction was right. What was no your prediction? Won. No one won. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> That's true. So, uh, did you have a good time? Yeah. A little bit louder for the game. Yes. <laughs> what do you think of Gaslands? Um, it's a fun game, and I like to paint stuff, and it's really fun for painting the Hot Wheels cars that you destroyed, <laughs> which is, um, this one took probably, my car probably took about a day and a half maybe? Mm -hmm. Yeah, because you took it apart and painted each yeah. piece and put it together, yeah. You did good. Alright Jake, what do you think of the game? Well, uh, that's definitely different than the previous games we played. Uh, but that's the awesome part about this game is that no matter if you start out in first or if you start out in last, like there's still a chance. Like odds are good, there's a chance for you to get right back in it. Like you were in dead last, and because I kind of cut you off weird in the beginning, and then you spun out and flipped forward. Yeah, damage went to your car, but then you were right behind me in that second. Yeah, I know. I flipped over Kaylee's car. Yeah, and landed on my wheels and kept going. <laughs> so right, lot, I don't know. Lots of silly things can happen, which is why this game is awesome, and it's relatively quick. We were only playing with one car each, so it was really fast. But that's the first time I think we've ever had an explosion set off multiple explosions before. Well, we oh, all took Molotov cocktails, which make your car very explodey. Yeah. We didn't talk about the rules, but um, basically, uh, Molotov cocktails, you have ammo, and the ammo, uh, the more ammo you have, the more likely you are to explode. So, um, it was pretty devastating when all the, the cars exploded right next to each other. Yeah. And it's only one can of gas in the game, so like points-wise, I like to put it on all of my cars, even in the games that we haven't played on camera. I just like to keep doing it, just because it's nice to light someone on fire. Um, it really didn't matter in your case. I didn't realize you didn't have any hazards on your car, but the more, you have to get rid of all your hazards before the flame goes out. Yeah. So if someone's stuck on like three or four and can't get rid of them, they just slowly burn to death. Yeah, even then, it, it still did one damage to me when I acted. Yeah. So. Molotov cocktails are good if you can get that one hit. Um, so guys, there you go, that's Gasland. Sorry we did not have, oh wait, uh, Kaylee has something to say. Santa's very expensive solar paneled car got exploded. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. 
Jake is going to be on the naughty list. Or was that me? That was you. <laughs> that was you. Uh, Her explosion killed no, no, me. I'm on the naughty list. <laughs> so, that's kind of Gaslands in a nutshell. So this is an introductory battle. Normally we, you play and your team could be two, three, four cars each. Uh, but we just wanted to get a simple game out so you guys could see the fun that uh, had. And you can see that it, it applies to all ages. Kaylee is 10. Yeah. And uh, I'm really old and all between. <laughs> so uh, you can see it's a lot of fun. And all the stuff that you see here, um, the cars are dirt cheap. The terrain was just stuff I had in my bits box. We haven't really spent a lot of money to play this game, which is really cool and really refreshing. And again, as you saw, it's really cinematic. You can really imagine these cars, what's happening on the board, and crashing and flipping and exploding. It's all kinds of fun. All right, guys, so there you go. That's Gaslands. Um, thank you very much for watching. Please check us out on Facebook at All Miniatures Great and Small. You can see kind of what we're up to, what we're doing. We'll post uh, upcoming uh, videos, things like that. But as always, thanks for watching, and keep on wargaming. All right, and Kaylee has something else she wants to share with us. Um, so all the terrain was probably was handmade and stuff. Well, these are just beat up. We literally well, just show it to the camera so we can we, see. We literally just smashed up. Hop, oh, really? Like these are from Goodwill, and they were only twenty nine cents. So we just smashed them with a hammer. Mm -hmm. Here's another one. And we use some of the wheels for terrain, too. Yeah. And this is a trash can. This is a dumpster, <laughs> yeah, from the train store. Um, we just had it in our box. Yeah. Then my dad just found some old scraps, and he just put them in weird place. He just put them together, and these terrain right here mm -hmm. like he didn't want Jake saying oh my car could fit through these gaps so he put these he put these things there's these whatever Debris. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. in in the those gaps so that he, none of us could get through. oh yeah yeah because Jake can be tricksy like that sometimes right and here's some barbed wire oh, that yeah. daddy my dad made. Mm -hmm. um, and All right. That's really our trade. <laughs> All right. Well, what do you say? Say say bye. Bye.